नंबर ऑफ ऑस्टिलेशन पर सेकेंड हार्ट पंप से ब्लड टू डिफरेंट बॉडी ऑर्गन Hi Swaros this is Nitisha Swaros 7th class from Suddapal Friends do you identify what is this S yes, this is a point this is a point point has a position its location can be has certain the points are denoted by capital letters like capital A capital B capital C capital d etc like this we denote point and now what is this yeah this is a line segment line segment means shortest distance between the two distinct points is called a line segment like this we put a line segment friends can we prepare any closer figure with this three line segments yes we can able to prepare triangle with this three line segments A triangle is a simple closed figure bounded by three line segments is called a triangle. Triangle is a simple closed figure it is bounded by three line segments. Friends why we call it has a triangle because it has three sides. It has three sides. In this triangle line segment means sides. line segment means sides and three vertices point means vertices and three angles friends do you know what is angle s yes, an angle is the union of two different rays having the same initial point let us see on the screen point point means to locate any places in the maps etc and line segment shortest distance between any two distinct points and angle two rays having common vertex and a triangle a triangle is a simple closed figure bounded by three line segments today my topic is today my topic is triangles and its properties triangles and its properties these triangles are classified into two types what are they friends yes they are the based on sides and based on angles now based on sides in this based on sides we have three types of triangles what are they friends yes they are the equilateral triangle isosceles triangle and scalene triangle now equilateral triangle 
equilateral triangle means in a triangle if all the three sides are equal it is called an equilateral triangle let us see on the screen the types of triangles based on sides and based on angles now based on sides equilateral triangle isosceles triangle and scalene triangle equilateral triangle in a triangle all the three sides are equal it is called equilateral triangle and isosceles triangle in a triangle if one of its two sides are equal it is called isosceles triangle see on the screen in a triangle any two sides are equal it is called isosceles triangle and now scalene triangle scalene triangle means in a triangle all the three sides are different it is called scalene triangle see on the screen in a triangle all the sides are different it is called scalene triangle this is the picture of scalene triangle and now let us see on the chart based on sides equilateral triangle and in a triangle three sides are equal is called a equilateral triangle and isosceles triangle in a triangle any two sides are equal is called an isosceles triangle and scalene triangle in a triangle to all the three sides are different and now based on angles before going to learn this friends we know some types of angles and its measures types of angles first acute angle if the angle between 0 degrees to 90 degrees it is called an acute angle Zero degrees to ninety degrees. It is called an acute angle and right angle. If the angle is exactly ninety degrees, it is called an right angle. And finally, obtuse angle. obtuse angle if the angle between 90 degrees to 180 degrees it is called an obtuse angle 90 degrees to 180 degrees now we are going to discuss about based on angles friends in based on angles also again we have three types of triangles do you know what are they yes they are the acute angle triangle obtuse angle the triangle and right angle triangle now acute angle triangle in a triangle each angle in a triangle is acute it is called an acute angle triangle each angle of a triangle is an acute angle it is called an acute angle triangle now i would like to show on the screen based on angles acute angle triangle each angle in a triangle is acute angle it is called an acute angle triangle 
This is the picture of acute angle triangle. And now right angle triangle. In a triangle in which one of its angle is right angle, it is called an right angle triangle. In a triangle in which one of its angle is right angle is called right angle triangle. Now see on the power points. Right angle triangle. In a triangle in which one of its angle is right angle, it is called right angle triangle. And now obtuse angled triangle. This is the obtuse angle triangle. In a triangle in which one of its angle is obtuse angle, it is called an obtuse angle triangle. Friends, see this. Obtuse angle triangle. A triangle in which one of its angle is obtuse angle is called obtuse angle triangle. See on the screen. Obtuse angle triangle. In a triangle in which one of its angle is obtuse angle, it is called an obtuse angle triangle. This is the picture of obtuse angle triangle. Friends, in this triangle we have one property that is the relationship between the sides of a triangle. In this we have two types of triangles. They are the sum of the lengths of any two sides of triangle and the another one is the difference between any two sides of a triangle. Now I would like to Describe about sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle. Friends, we have one conclusion. That is the, the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. In a triangle ABC, AB plus BC is greater than the AC. And BC plus CA is greater than the AB and CA plus AB is greater than the BC. Let us check it with the possible measurements. We, we are taking AB has 8 centimeters. AB has 8 centimeters and BC has 4 centimeters. And finally, we are taking CA as 6 centimeters. Here, AB plus BC. In this, AB is 8 centimeters and BC is 4 centimeters. 8 plus 4, how much friends? Yes, 8 plus 4 is exactly 12. And here, 12 is the greater than the third side. In this, the third side is 6 centimeters. So, 12 is greater than the 6. And now, BC plus CA. BC plus CA. Here we are taking BC as 4 centimeters. BC as 4 centimeters. 4 plus CA is 6 centimeters. 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6, how much, friends? Yes, 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 is Greater than the third side. Here the third side is the AB. AB has 8 centimeters. And CA plus AB. CA is 6 centimeters. And AB is 8 centimeters. 
8 plus 6 plus 8 how much friends? Yes, 6 plus 8 is 14. Exactly it is 14. 14 is greater than the third side. Here the third side is BC. BC we are taking has 4 centimeters. In this triangle, the conclusion is that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. So here, 12 is greater than the 6 and 10 is greater than the 8, 14 is greater than the 4. So here the triangle is possible. So the triangle is possible. Now see on the power points. Sum of the lengths of two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. In a triangle ABC, AB plus BC is greater than AC and BC plus CA is greater than the AB. CA plus AB is greater than the BC. And now another property that is the difference between any two sides of a triangle. Difference between the lengths of two sides of a triangle. There is a conclusion for this. That is the, the difference between any two sides of a triangle is less than the third side. In the triangle ABC, AB minus BC is less than the AB and BC minus CA is less than the AB. CA minus AB is less than the BC. So, now see on the screen the difference between the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is less than the length of the third side. In a triangle ABC, AB minus BC is less than the CA and BC minus CA is less than the AB and CA minus AB is less than the BC. Okay friends, let us check it with the measurements. We are taking AB has 9 centimeters. And BC has 6 centimeters. CA has 5 centimeters. Now AB minus BC. Here AB minus BC. In this AB is 9 centimeters and BC is 6 centimeters. 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6 is how much friends? Yes, 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 is less than the third side. In this the third side is CA with 5 centimeters. And BC minus CA. In this BC is 6 centimeters. And CA is 5 centimeters. BC minus CA. BC is 6 centimeters minus CA is 5 centimeters. 6 minus 5 how much friends? Yes. 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 is less than the third side. Here the third side is the AB with 9 centimeters. 1 is less than the 9. And finally the third step is the AB minus CA. AB minus CA. In this AB is 9 centimeters and CA is 5 centimeters. 9 minus 5 is 9 minus 5.
5 is 4. So, here 4 is less than the third side. In this, the third side is the BC with 6 centimeters. 4 is less than the 6. So, here the conclusion is that the difference between any two sides of a triangle is less than the length of the third side. So, here 3 is less than the 5 and 1 is less than the 9, 4 is less than the 6. So, the triangle is possible. So, the triangle is possible. Friends, see this. Mind map of a triangles. This is the triangle. This triangle is classified into two types. They are the based on sides and based on angles. Now, based on sides, equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means in a triangle, if all the three sides are equal length, it is called equilateral triangle and isosceles triangle. In a triangle, if two sides are equal and one is different, it is called isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. Scalene triangle means in a triangle, if all the three sides are different, it is called scalene triangle and another one the, that is the base drawn angles. In this base drawn angles, we have three types of triangles. They are the acute angled triangle, right angled triangle and obtuse angled triangle. Now, right acute angled triangle. Acute angle triangle means each angle in a triangle is acute angle. It is called an acute angle triangle and right angle triangle. In a triangle in which one of its angle is right angle, it is called right angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle. In a triangle in which one of its angle is obtuse angle, it is called obtuse angle triangle. Friends, do you understand this? And in this we have the property of the triangle. That is the relationship between the sides of a triangle. In this we have two types. They are the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle and difference between the any two sides of a triangle. Now, the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side and the another one is the difference between any two sides of a triangle is less than the third side. Friends, now the assignment is you should you should draw the flow chart of the types of the triangles. Friends, now let us recall what we have learnt. They are the in this triangles that they are classified into two types. They are the based on sides and based on angles. In based on sides, we have the these three types. These are the three types of the triangles. Equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. Equilateral triangle means a triangle having three sides equal length. It is called an equilateral triangle and isosceles triangle. In a triangle, in the two sides are equal. It is called Isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. In a triangle, 
if all the three sides are different, it is called skeletal triangle. Friends, now based on angles. In based on angles, we have these three types of triangles. They are the acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle, right angle triangle. Acute angle triangle. In a triangle, each angle is acute angle. It is called an acute angled triangle. And right angle triangle. In a triangle, if one of its angle is right angle, it is called right angled triangle. And obtuse angled triangle. In a triangle in which one of its angle is obtuse angle, it is called an obtuse angled triangle. Now see this. Point has a position. Its location can be ascertained. The points are denoted by capital letters like A, B, C, D, etc. Line segment. Shortest distance between the two distinct points is called line segment. Triangle. A simple closed figure bounded by three line segments is called a triangle. Angle. An angle is the union of two different rays having the same initial point. Now friends, let us check the, the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle with different measurements. We take AB has 4 centimeters. AB has 4 centimeters. And BC has, BC has 6 centimeters. CA has 3 centimeters. And AB plus BC. AB plus BC. AB is 4 centimeters and BC is 6 centimeters. 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6 how much friends? S. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 is greater than the third side. Here the third side is the 3 centimeters. The third side is the 3 centimeters. And BC plus CA. Here BC is 6 centimeters. 6 centimeters. And CA is 3 centimeters. 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 is greater than the third side. Here the third side is the AB with 4 centimeters. 9 is less than, uh, greater than the 4 centimeters. And CA plus AB. Here CA is 3 centimeters and AB is 4 centimeters. 